Why do things happen when we least want them? Are we cursed or does the universe hate us or something? Sometimes sits pop up when you have an important event coming up. You might get stuck in traffic, especially on the day when there's a new person trying to steal the promotion away from you. You might have to make a really tough decision at work that the person you're dealing with begs you for the house and they end up embarrassing themselves and you feel bad. However, you don't feel that way anymore when they attack you and you're cursed. But anyway, things are seemingly all against us. And it seems like even inanimate objects have their own desire to cause malice, like when you lost your keys or when you chase after a runaway bouncy ball. It's exhausting. Things always go wrong and they happen at the least convenient moment. This is called Murphy's Law. You probably have heard it from this teller, where it says that anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Although they did put a positive spin to it. But is this true? Well, it's mostly true because it is us that give the idiom relevance. In life as well, we don't make much of it. But when something goes wrong, we try to justify the thing that happened and make sense of it. We blame everything except for ourselves. And I guess we do that to avoid being responsible and feeling like we're the ones causing the mistake, even though we sometimes are. Helen's Razor states that, Never attribute to malice that which is adequately explained by stupidity. We humans, no matter how clever we want to think we are, can be incredibly stupid and a lot of people concur with this. Like Johann Goethe, who wrote that misunderstandings and lethargy produce more wrong in the world than deceit and malice do. Another variation can be found in H.G. Wells' Wheels of Chance. There is very little deliberate wickedness in the world. The stupidity of our selfishness gives much the same results indeed. But in the ethical laboratory, it shows a different nature. This idea came up because of the notion that we are all sitting ducks to the whims of fate called fatalism, that the universe is toying with us and there's nothing we can do about it. But to some people, it contradicts the concept of free will, that all consequences of our choices come from our own. Murphy's law doesn't prove anything and it doesn't explain anything, it's just a statement. Some people might blame Murphy's law for a buttered slice of bread that land with the butter side down, but we often forget that. There are other forces at work like the butter side being heavier than the non-butter side. But Murphy's Law has its own good side. It reminds engineers, programmers, and scientists of some sense of truth. Things can fail. So because of that, people create fail safes, Like the electrical plugs. I will give you a little kiss to make you feel better. Or long mowers that have to be held down to operate. This paper cutting machine requires two buttons to be pressed simultaneously to cut the paper so it will be impossible to accidentally have one hand in the way of harm unless you have a third hand or you try real hard to deliberately hurt your hand or whatever. This is also called idiot proof. But another law called Graves Law states that if you make something idiot proof, the world will create a better idiot. Um, yeah. This leads people to think of the worst case scenario in doing risk management where people prepare for the worst when planning something. But this can be quite helpful in some fields where low probability events must be avoided at all costs. But there are criticisms. Some worst case scenarios are beyond our capacity to even deal with and it is not worth it to develop such scenarios since it may waste precious resources. However, some people like Richard Dawkins say that these laws are nonsense because they would need inanimate objects to have desires of their own. Things happen all the time, but they're only noticed when they're a nuisance. This is called confirmation bias, where people seek out evidence to confirm their already formed beliefs and refuse to look for evidence that contradicts them. David Hand said that the law of truly large numbers would lead to one of the events predicted by Murphy's Law to happen occasionally and selection bias will make us remember those that happen. Some people even say that the law is a form of the second law of thermodynamics, which is the law of entropy, because things are increasingly becoming less organized. But Atano Chatterjee found that this can be disproved using the principle of least action. So yeah, Murphy's Law isn't really well received by some people in academia. Anyway, the idea that inanimate objects are secretly against us is interesting enough that some people toy around with it, like this rock song that tells a story where inanimate objects are trying to kill them. So yeah. I guess Murphy's Law is not really true. We can't prove it and there are a lot of good things happening to us too. 
Maybe it's a sign that we should stop taking things for granted and just be grateful when good things happen to us, while still being careful and avoiding making stupid things to steer clear of any unwanted consequences. Thank you.